Tell me, who you really, really, really think is more lyrical? Cause every time I go somebody gotta see the medical And every time I come I'm eating everything that's edible Hello and welcome back to my channel My name is Moss, as you already know, I cook on this channel Now on the menu for you guys today I'm gonna be making Persian Uh, what was it? I forgot Persian chicken soup It's basically It's a soup It's got chicken And it's Persian Simple as Okay Um Obviously we'll go through the details as, as the video goes on But, before we go any further, I need you Yeah, you, you're watching this I need you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mosto Safar Follow me on Instagram at Mosto Safar as well And now we can begin the show Okay, to start off with, we've got our chicken We're going to slice it up, chop it up And then we move on You just want to get rid of all the excessive unnecessary fat that's going on around it you want to make it into small pieces all right and that bit and that there you have it what you want to do just pour it in there for now leave that to a side I'll be back in a sec I've got three potatoes and one onion. What I'm gonna do is peel all of this. This is gonna make a mess, I know, but I'll clean it off, don't worry. And number three, there we have it. What I'm gonna do now, since there's a mess going on, I'm going to peel this off as well but not in there As for chopping them up here's what you need to do get it in the long way the thickness you want it to be a fairly decent size right? like dice cubes okay okay and now time for the onion make some space so you can divide it okay Here's the tears. Moment of joy. Okay, I had to cut that bit short. I was, I was, you know, reminiscing tears and all that was coming out. So I didn't show that bit going in there. But now we've got carrots. All you want to do now again is peel them. Okay. Just take off the skin like so. This is so much easier. Get rid of that. Get rid of the end. Now, again, clean up your station. Now, it's time for the carrots to also be chopped up like dice or diced up rather best way to do that I reckon is cut it like so BAM! right? cut it again and Okay, there we have it. Now put this in this corner. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our prep. Okay, we've got our potatoes, carrots, and onions. 
get some of that lovely olive oil, whack it in there. All right. Pick up your starter pack. The onions. Just dash it in there. Yeah. Shoot. Move. Get in the pan. All right. There you go. Let that chill for a bit. You wanna yeah. Okay that let's try to split it up. Okay, I mean it will slip out once it heats up anyway, but yeah. Let that go on for a little bit. Once it heats up, I'll tell you what we're gonna add to it next. Right, how's the onions looking? Look at that. They're changing some colour, they're becoming golden, which is good. So now at this point, what you can add is some turmeric. Okay. And then a bit of black pepper. Wiggle it about. All right. Give it a nice wiggle. That comes from that bloody fly. Right, now it is time to add our chicken. There you have it. Mix it all up. Let it all marinate all the colors and everything. Okay. I'm also we're going to turn up the kettle and get some hot water going on. We're going to turn it on, on low. Just going to pour that here because I know it's going to leak. What you want to do is pour in your water. Okay. Put in a decent amount. You can turn up the heat now. Put it back on full mode. Pour it in guys. Soup is water basically. I'm making water. I'm making a video about water. Alright? Give it another mix. Okay. It's all gonna mix nicely. So it's been about roughly five, seven, five to seven minutes that this has been cooking. Look at that. What I'm gonna do now is give it a little quick stir, make sure it doesn't stick or anything, nothing's all right. The chicken looks cooked. It was getting cooked, so it's just fine. You can leave it, let it go on for a bit longer. But I'm gonna add these to it as well. You got your potatoes. It's done on full heat by the way, yeah? When you're putting it in, obviously be careful because it's boiling water, you don't want it to splash onto you and burn or whatever. There you go. Turn it around, get the carrots going in, put it in the corner there, so let's reduce the splashing out. Give it another mix, let it all mix up together, okay? Let this cook again for another 10-15 minutes so the carrots and the potatoes soften up. I'm gonna wash that, don't want that on my video. Put the lid back on, okay? It's still on full heat, when it gets to a boil, I'll turn it down a little bit, let it carry on for the full 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes I would say, 10-11 minutes or whatever. 
Let's open up this bad boy. Guys, can I just say, that smells amazing. Just check on this. Right? On both. Give it a little squeeze. Right? And see how it is. Okay, we're looking good. I'm just going to turn up the heat a little bit more. Here's an interesting part. You guys thought I'm missing something out. Something known as salt. Guess what? I didn't forget. It's going in now. Okay, that's that. Now, what I'm also going to add is a bit of tomato puree. A little bit more, okay. This is just to give it that rich orangey red color, okay. Okay, time for another checkup, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. Smells lovely. Smells lovely, absolutely lovely. Look at that. Yeah, you can tell the tomato, the potatoes have gone, you know, they've rounded off a little bit. You can tell that they're cooked. So what you want to do now is, I've got some, uh, these are vermicelli, if I pronounce that right, vermicelli. You can put more in, you can put less in. I'm gonna put this much in. I like these, so I'm gonna see if I can put any more in. So let's just put that in for now and see how it is. If it's not enough, then obviously I've got a lot more. I can add to it, definitely, it's not a problem. Uh, I think I will need to add some more. It may not be enough, but anyway. Give it a couple of minutes, a minute or so. Yeah, that's just disappeared. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna need some more. Okay, and I'm back again with some more of this. Round two. I hope I'm not making any mistakes. Yeah. There's a lot of soup here. Okay, just turn that back up a little bit. bad it did soak up a lot of the juice but it's all right it's fine we like it like this anyway we like it like that I'm gonna get copyrighted right look at that right so since I put too much of this stuff in I'm gonna need to add some more water because this is not soup, right? I admit, maybe I put too much in there this time, so I'm gonna have to add some more hot water in to make it soupy again. So, yeah, probably wasn't a wise idea, but there you go. That's enough. Right, give it a stir. Okay, get everything going again. Oh boy, the second time I overloaded. Overload guys, overload. Don't judge me, all right? Don't laugh behind the camera when you see this, all right? But we need a bit more water, it's not enough. Oh God, this is an embarrassing video. Am I gonna post this, really? I'm having second thoughts, you know. Maybe I shouldn't post this. It's not a good idea. You're gonna be sitting behind the camera and be laughing at me and all of that. I don't want people to laugh at me, you bullies. Right, that looks a bit more like it. 
give it a little mix make sure that water goes into everything and it you know do you know what actually before I put in the extra water in see how the color was all red a lot more red now I think this is actually the perfect color so in a way it worked out well actually despite me making it dry and all of that and making a mess by the end yeah this is the color that it wants to be that was a bit too dark right so yeah let's go let this go on and just whilst the camera was off what I done was got some parsley right a bit of parsley chopped it up now for the last two three minutes of this I'm just gonna sprinkle it all in there right this will give it that nice taste and it's just gonna be amazing this stuff this stuff works magic gosh I don't know I don't know how what else to say really this stuff is beautiful it's amazing that's enough right now let this mix in there you want to put this in obviously at the last because you don't want it to burn or anything and it gives the most flavor out of it so it's going to be full of flavor basically now my mouth is just watering I can't wait there you go look at that and obviously it gives it a nice little greenish color as well so it looks green and orange and yellow and everything else that you got give it a good mix mix it up well okay look at that right I'm gonna let that go on for one or two minutes okay we are almost ready for serving everything's heated up nicely let that get out of the way what you want to do is we like the lime in there so we're just gonna pour in some lime and all we need a bit more obviously I'll run out but there you go give it a nice little stir let that lime juice go all over mix it up nice that gives it a nice taste tangy taste to it and all and basically ladies and gentlemen our soup is ready ready to be served so what I'm gonna do is switch it off like I said if we had more lime juice it would be a lot better but we don't so apologies now what you want to do get your bowl right pour in just like so yeah I know it's not that watery all right don't judge me for God's sake it's a lot more dry than what it should be but there you go it's okay we're all right just clean that bit up right place that there get your last bit of parsley and have it like so and there you have it ladies and gentlemen this is your Persian uh, <laughs> soup it's a bit dry I know it's very dry but there you are bon appetit enjoy and um, I shall see you in the next video make sure you share like and subscribe guys see you next time tell me who you really 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 think is more lyrical cuz every time i go somebody got to see the medical and every time i come